to the entertaining Talking Sports. What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. And in this video, I am going to talk about some of the quotes that came out of James Betcher's mouth today in response to the criticisms by veteran cornerback Janoris Jenkins. Now, of course, if you didn't realize, Janoris Jenkins, um, who's been critical of the team in general a few times this year, earlier in the season, week two, it was of the players on the team. And then this week, after the loss, it was seemingly against the coaching staff, specifically James Betcher, the defensive coordinator of the New York Giants. Now, he didn't call him out by name, but he basically ripped apart his defensive schemes. Janoris Jenkins' um, problem, and I'll get into the exact quote in a second, was basically that he felt like he should be traveling along with the team's number one wide receiver. And the last two opponents we had, what they did, and I said it throughout my live streams, was they were taking advantage of the defense from the slot. We had an inexperienced player playing the slot in Corey Ballantyne. And then I believe last week, um, it might have been Ballantyne. I don't even remember. It might have been Haley. Regardless, they were picking us apart in that same position again. Devontae Adams, who was by far the Packers' best wide receiver, was lining up in the slot and taking advantage of the New York Giants' deficiencies. And Janoris Jenkins felt like he should have been the one guarding Devontae Adams. Now, of course, if you go all the way back to week three, when the Giants had him, follow around Mike Evans. Mike Evans tore him to shreds. Now, it was a one-on-one -on -one matchup, if we're being fair, and he was not getting any help over the top. But Jenkins certainly failed when he was given that opportunity. But James Betcher came out today and spoke basically out against what Jenkins had to say and defended his reasoning as to why um, they were doing what they were doing. But let's jump right into the quotes by defense. everybody's favorite defensive coordinator, James Betcher. Here is the first quote. This is actually the quote off of Janoris Jenkins' mouth after the game on Sunday. First of all, you got to use your weapons, Jenkins said Sunday. It's common sense. Football is football. I'm the only one in the league that don't travel no more. I don't understand why, but I was traveling the other years. I don't understand. When saying he doesn't travel, he means he doesn't travel against the team's best wide receiver. And he feels, and I actually tend to agree with him somewhat, um, based on the level of experience from the other members in the secondary, he should be manned up on the team's best wide receiver. And it was very evident that the Giants were getting picked apart due to mismatches in the slot. Now, this is what Betra had to say. Here's the first quote. I've been places where we travel in, in terms of the cornerbacks all the time, and I've been here when we travel at different times, Betra explained. Philosophy on that is if it works for everyone, it's a great thing to do. If it works to where it allows our best guy to be on their best guy, and at the same time the other guys can have their feet settled to be able to play the downs, then it's great. We make the decision what's best for the collective group. And then finally, Betcher said this. The decision is based on the collective defense, not just one guy, Betcher said. That philosophy, it was the same way with Patrick Peterson in Arizona, which of course is where he was a defensive coordinator before coming to the Giants. If it isn't the right thing to do, we don't do it. And that was Betcher's defense. Um, and in fairness to Betcher, we do have a, an incredibly inexperienced secondary, right? Um, our second most experienced player, who didn't even play last week, uh, Peppers, I think, is only 23 years old out in that secondary. So he may feel that in the best interest of the team, he doesn't want to start moving rookie cornerbacks around until they get acclimated to their roles. Maybe he feels that DeAndre Baker is more comfortable on his side of the field. He doesn't want to start swapping Ballantyne or whoever's playing in the slot out of the slot to play Jenkins there. And it's a fair argument, but at the end of the day, when you got, especially in that Bears game, I mean, they tore us up for like over 200 yards in the slot. When you've got a team doing that, you got to make adjustments. you got to make adjustments. I could see it from my TV. And Betcher should know that. And Betcher's got to make adjustments. Now, the initial game plan, okay, I get it. You want guys to be comfortable. They're rookies. they got to get used to their roles. I understand that, Betcher, okay? But when Ballantyne is getting picked, he's killed. you, you got to do something. You can't let him continue to get killed. So I get both sides of it. If I'm being completely fair, I, I get that Betcher wants the rookies to get comfortable in their roles and they got to fail before they, they can succeed. But at the end of the day, if Betcher's trying to coach for his job, he's got to try to do a better job there on game day. Right now, everybody's calling for Betcher's head because he's not doing common sense things like this that Jenkins called him out for. Uh, but at the end of the day, Jenkins doesn't have much of a leg to stand on either. Like I said, 
when he was given the ability to travel against the team's best wide receiver in Tampa Bay, he got killed. Uh, no, Nobody's right in this situation. Jenkins isn't very good. He's the best we got, but that's not saying much with the inexperience we have out there and Baker playing as poorly as he has. Julian Love has taken a big step up uh, in the safety position, and I expect to see him get better and better over the course of time. Looks to potentially be a very good pick, but, it, but it's still a very inexperienced secondary. So in fairness, I get Betcher's point. But sometimes you got to make adjustments. In the last two weeks, we've been getting killed. And we'll see if Betcher uh, does expand Jenkins' role this week and moves him around to spy Alshon Jeff- Jeffrey, whoever they deem is the team's biggest threat. But as always, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.